What is going on, you guys? It is your host, Avery, here bringing you guys a brand new video, wanting to discuss something a little bit um, off the beaten path here, just because of the fact that the only thing that's really going on right now in this season of Yu-Gi-Oh! is Nationals and then Worlds, and uh, we don't get the Link Strike starter deck for another, like couple weeks so I figured why not talk about Yu-Gi-Oh and relationships now what I mean by this uh, is pretty much just how the title sounds Yu-Gi-Oh and being in relationship with somebody in general kind of some advice with that since I've been through that uh, and also just kind of things to be wary of if or when you bring your significant other to uh, an event whether it be locals um, regional YCS etc so let's just go ahead and dive right into it and <laughs> feel free to just play this on in the background while you're playing video games or something because it's just going to be this this uh, still image here of my valentine uh, because I look like death and I don't feel like showing my face but Yu-Gi-Oh! relationships now for one thing for a Yu-Gi-Oh! player to want to bring their significant other boyfriend girlfriend whatever to an event for the love of God please at least have your significant other know how to play the game or at least kind of know what's going on or if not then just have them be quiet <laughs> because if they don't understand what's going on and they're constantly asking questions and you know they're interrupting the game or whatever the case may be it's just very annoying I've seen that happen before and it's just it's not healthy it's very bad juju um, and on top of that too it it actually kind of makes, from what I've seen anyway, a relationship better when you're in a relationship with someone and they also know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It actually kind of makes the relationship more better uh, just because of the fact that, you know, both of you know how to play, you can play test with each other, you guys always have something to talk about really, and it's just something that y'all can kind of bond on all the time. Also, if you hear fireworks in the background, I do apologize, it is of course 4th of July, so happy 4th of July if you celebrate that here in America land. But if if your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever, doesn't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, if they're, I guess, mature enough, I, I don't know, <laughs> they'll, they'll just kind of be quiet. I've only taken one girl that I've dated out of all the times I've gone to locals or girls that I've dated. I've actually brought them to locals. Um, I was selling some cards to a local card shop here in the Florida area. And uh, me and my family and my girlfriend, we were all going out that same day. So I figured, well, let's just stop by here on the way. I mean, she knew that I played. She didn't care. Um, she, you know, was obviously supportive of what I did. Um, and so we went on in. I gave the card shop my buy list. And I sat down with one of my buddies, hung out with them. And I play tested a quick game. And she just sat there on her phone and she chilled out. And um, my friend said hi to her. She said hi to him. And... I mean, really, that, that's all there was to it. It wasn't a big deal. You know, I've seen people freak out before, like, oh, my God, it's a girl in a card shop. It's a hot girl. Like, oh, my God. And, like, you guilt players, like, tripping over themselves. <laughs> like, I've literally seen that happen before, even at a regional, too. And YCS is, like, it's it's actually really hilarious because you don't really see a lot of girls um, play Yu-Gi-Oh. The ones that do are either scrubs or uh, they're just kind of hanging out. They're not really playing the game. Uh, they're just there with their boyfriend or whoever. Um, so yeah, please, if you bring your significant other to, uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh event, whether it's locals or whatever, make sure that they know how to play the game or at least are hanging out with you and aren't being, um, a bother to other people. Um, it just, it's, it doesn't make the event any better. Um, don't have them wear scantily clad clothing just to like show them off because like, that's just kind of a dick move in a cock tease in a way. And for one thing, it just kind of looks I guess, uh, what's the best term? Disgusting. Just because of the fact that, you know, I've literally seen cosplayers at a Yu-Gi-Oh event, but like their boyfriend and girlfriend and the girlfriend's just wearing like almost nothing. <laughs> like practically it's a bikini and it just, it, it's nasty. No one needs that. And like, yeah, I guess it's attractive if it's on a nice looking girl, but still like, you know, we're there to play Yu-Gi-Oh. We're there to hang out. We're there to try and top the event. Like we don't need that in our face. Um, but again, going to the advice portion of this video, uh, if you are trying to, I guess, find a relationship with somebody, make sure that they are, you know, approving of all that you do. Like, I can't tell you, um, the times where, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that because it's only come up like twice, um, two or three times it's come up where, 
um, either through like back in my high school days, the girl I was dating found out I played Yu-Gi-Oh or already knew and um, I never said anything and then I just kind of told them and they're like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, you do? And they're like, yeah, I mean, our high school was is pretty small so why wouldn't i find out our high school only had about 500 students at once and so i was like how'd you know she's like it's our high school everybody knows everybody <laughs> everybody knows everything about everybody at bleh, about everybody so that that one i should say i already knew the other one uh i didn't say anything until i kind of felt comfortable around her um but again like i said she was approving she came to locals with me that one day um and she was all right i have met people however that like are in a relationship and they're like no i don't i don't tell my girl i play Yu -Oh and all that which is understanding at the same time however you need to be with somebody that is accepting of you um and you shouldn't be you know doing things i guess behind their back for lack of a better term just because you know they might question you be like well where are you going out on saturday nights you going to the club no i'm not going to the club i'm hanging out with my buddy so you're going to the club no i'm playing a children's card game <laughs> um so that that would actually be a really interesting conversation i would love to be a fly on the wall for that but anyway let me know what you guys think about Yu-Gi-Oh and relationships and life in the universe i know that this isn't like a normal Yu-Gi-Oh video but i don't really see this talked about a lot in the Yu-Gi-Oh community um, I guess just because of the fact that women playing Yu-Gi-Oh are very, very rare, unless you're Dragon Duelist Girl, who, as far as I know, doesn't even play the game anymore, and unless you're my Valentine, but, I mean, you're just an anime character at that point. So, thank you guys for watching, as always. I'm going to keep up the daily posts. Um, I know I was kind of slacking last week, so we're going to keep it up, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great 4th of July, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And subscribe if you've not already. <laughs>